All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And, fellas, we bringing back the Mog Dragon's Breath Flame Shotgun for this upload, fellas. And you want to know why? Well, <laughs> the Dragon's Breath is not only in COD World War II. It's not only in Booty Oil 4. But now it is also in Modern Warfare 2019. Yes, fellas, that is right. There was a new update for Modern Warfare, and it brought... A few things. The first thing it brought was this. I seen this on Twitter this morning. Prestigious Key tweeted this out. Uh, Dragon's Breath Rounds has been added to Modern Warfare. Now, I know it's really late in the day. A lot of you guys probably already know this. But, man, I'm not even surprised. Like I said since the beginning. Like, we got a game here with, I don't know, you can put, what, a thousand attachments on a weapon? I mean, of course you're going to see some flaming shotgun shell rounds i mean why wouldn't you i'm surprised it took them this long to drop it to be honest <laughs> but uh, you know what man should they drop flaming <laughs> fire breathing dragon's breath shotgun rounds in a game that's already dominated by shotguns at least the multiplayer is the multiplayer is completely dominated by shotgun shells uh shotgun users and now they're going to have dragon's breath rounds so 12 gauge incendiary dragon's breath rounds Ammunition engulfs targets in a wall of fire and sparks. Oh, man, I'm having flashbacks to COD World War II granddad. I'm flaming shotgun with some serious cheese. 3,000 degree Fahrenheit magnesium shards torch enemies, dealing heavy damage over time while ignited. Oh, my goodness. So the pros here. This is the thing with Modern Warfare, man. Every attachment has a good and a bad thing. Does it does it slow down ADS speed even more? What's the what's the con here? So the pro is incendiary damage. The con is damage range. Okay, so I mean I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like if you look at the range bar there, it's like a speck. It's like a tiny little speck of range you lose, but you gain a big boost of damage, and you've got the damage over time. Flaming incendiary shotgun cheese. Uh, <laughs> listen, man, uh, not surprised. When they add in the strobe, bro? When they gonna put the strobe in this game, man? Come on, you got like a bazillion attachments. And uh, I remember somebody earlier saying they hated the uh, gunsmith feature in Modern Warfare because it's too confusing. And let me tell you something. When I went back to Modern Warfare to play Warzone and I was trying to make, uh, you know, like a, a setup, I was confused too, bro. Like, you need to go on YouTube or Reddit or someplace and look up what attachments to put on a gun because I don't play the game enough to know, you know, what are my favorite attachments. It is overwhelming. Like, if you're new to the game... And you're just picking up a gun, and there's like a bazillion attachments. You're like, yo, and, and they all have positive and negative. It is super confusing, man. I will put that out there right now, especially if you don't play the game every day. But luckily, there's like a ton of uh, YouTube channels out there that specialize in these types of things. So I just go out there and look up some best class setup. And uh, yeah, I just take it from there. Uh, another thing they added to the game besides the uh fire breathing shotgun rounds and look at this fellas right here man a three minute 15 14 second gameplay uh, three minute 14 seconds of, where people be like oh thunder why don't you like modern warfare man you you camp in this yeah show me a game in modern warfare where you could camp and win the game in th just about three minutes that's not shipment <laughs> show, show it doesn't exist son the pacing in this game is absolutely phenomenal fellas and that's one of the biggest things i like about it that's what you get with an arcade shooter you get a good pace <laughs> okay it's not some slow boring tactical uh 10 minute camp off where like maybe one or two guys left 20 kills when it's all said and done you know what i'm saying so other than the <laughs> fire breathing shotgun rounds they also added kandahar hideout that uh, multiplayer map I'll be honest, does anyone even play multiplayer anymore, man? It seems like everybody is on uh, Warzone right now, and rightfully so. Warzone is a lot more fun than multiplayer. Uh, I, I wish Warzone wasn't so damn sweaty, but, I mean, it is what it is. There's so many hackers in Warzone right now, people cheating. Uh, it seems like everybody's drop shotting in that playlist. It's it's such a sweaty playlist, man, unfortunately. Skill-based matchmaking ruining everything in this world as far as gaming goes. Uh, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, but does any uh, honestly do, does, do people still play multi? I know all the YouTubers don't play multiplayer anymore. Like all of them are on Warzone right now. Well, I mean, Warzone is what's getting the views, uh, and and they probably couldn't wait. And by the way, man, shout out to all the YouTubers out there in the struggle that are grinding Modern Warfare content. Oh my goodness, bro! I'd have to play for I don't know six to ten hours a day just to get something halfway decent to upload in that game. 
Shout out to all you dudes who are out there <laughs> uploading a Modern Warfare gameplay daily. Oh my goodness, man. The struggle is real. But they probably couldn't wait to get off the multiplayer and get onto Warzone. Uh, because that's all they're uploading now is Warzone. That's what's getting the views. Uh, and even when they go back and play multiplayer, they're not really playing Call of Duty. They're all on that Ground War playlist. That, that's not Call of Duty, man. That's, that's something else, man. So, you know, real Call of Duty, traditional 6v6 Call of Duty, pretty much nobody's uploading. They're either uploading Warzone or Call of Battlefield in the Ground War mode there. Uh, hopefully Treyarch brings back the classic 6v6 arcade style in 2020. But, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> we, we have to just wait and see, fellas. I don't know what Treyarch has up this. I'll tell you what, man. If Treyarch busts out another game like Modern Warfare, uh, like Infinity War did, that, that might be it for me. I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you. I might just go back to Destiny. I might just suck it up and, and go back to Destiny and just switch up the content and just be a Destiny dude. Like, you know, Thunder does Destiny. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Mesa Thunder. I don't know. I might just. I, I gotta play something I enjoy, and I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2 lately, fellas. I've been enjoying it. Um, I don't know, man. I think I just might be burnt out on COD. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with me, but you know, it has been a while. And uh, yeah, Call of Duty just ain't what it used to be, fellas. Unfortunately, I don't know if Treyarch is gonna bring it back with the. I need an arcade 6v6 shooter like Black Ops 2. That would be absolutely perfect for me. When are the remasters dropping, damn it? That's what I'm waiting on, man. I'm waiting for some remasters to drop because my faith in new COD games, fellas, ooh, dwindling quickly, man. So anyway, fellas, Condar hideout. I might go check it out in a match against the bots. We'll see, man. We'll see. I don't know if there's enough wine I got in the rack there to get me to actually play multiplayer versus people, but I might go check it out against the bots in a private match. It's just, why, why Infinity Ward, why you name that map hideout? I mean, Modern Warfare are the most notorious, slow-paced camp fest of a game you got. And you drop a map called Hideout? <laughs> oh my god, are they trolling or what, man? Hey, first of all, that map looks exactly like Ramaza, doesn't it? And Condor Hideout looks like two or three other maps that they already got in that game, dude. It's just, it looks lame, but anyway. Uh, also, fellas, in Modern Warfare, I saw this, and I thought this was pretty interesting, man. So, there is a new playlist in Modern Warfare called Cabin Fever. I was all like, wow, really? Y'all got a, a Cabin Fever playlist? So, check this out, man. Are you bored at home? Need something to do? What about maps? Rust, Shipment, Hackney Yard, Gun Runner, and Shoot House. A mosh pit including Team Deathmatch, Dom, uh, Headquarters, Kill Confirmed, and Hardpoint. Check out our Cabin Fever playlist rolling out now across all platforms in Modern Warfare. Yo, Infinity Ward, if people are bored at home, it's probably because they are playing Modern Warfare, man. Th this isn't going to cure anyone's boredom. I mean, let's be honest. These are probably the best maps uh, in Modern Warfare, which really ain't saying much. Well, we have to take out Rust and Shipment because those two maps are completely broken. You just get spawned, you know what, over and over again. A Hackney Yard, Gun Runner, and Shoot House probably are the top three maps in that game. Uh, I just don't like Rust and Shipment just because I, I don't like getting shot in the back 24-7, fellas. I don't like spawning and getting shot. I don't know. It's just I like maps that have some kind of flow with some kind of strategy going on. Uh, not really a big fan of... <laughs> Oh, those classic maps, but Hackney Yard, Gun Runner, and Shoot House, I could definitely respect. And I'll tell you another thing, fellas, you already know, that Cabin Fever playlist is probably going to be like 10 times more sweaty than the normal playlists are, <laughs> which is already like super sweaty to begin with. But I don't know, man, if that's what you're into, go for it, man. It seems like uh, Call of Duty, it's not casual anymore anyway. It's just insanely sweaty. At least you play the older CODs, man. The older CODs, it seems like the skill-based matchmaking has been turned off. Uh, and Call of Duty is just so much more fun when skill-based matchmaking is not screwing you over constantly. Uh, but anyway, man, so Infinity Ward are just the masters of adding stuff to their game that nobody wanted and nobody asked for. I mean, fire, shotgun shell rounds are back. Oh my goodness, fellas. There you go. You had six months of super annoying shotguns. And now for the final six months, you're going to have even more super annoying fire shell shotguns. <laughs> In modern warfare multiplayer if anyone even still plays multiplayer anymore like i said it seems like the whole modern warfare universe at least on youtube anyway is over on warzone and i don't blame them that's where the views are that's where the money is uh most of these guys that are uploading modern warfare probably could not wait to do something else other than multiplayer because uh i mean let's be honest <laughs> i mean multiplayer is just not fun unfortunately uh but yeah, man, Infinity Ward. Well, I mean, who asked for fire-breathing shotgun shell rounds to come back, man? 
Yeah, I mean, Infinity Ward has done so many weird things this year that nobody asked for, man. Getting rid of the mini-map, getting rid of Dead Silence, uh, putting stuff in the game that nobody asked for. Like, nobody asked for flaming shotgun shells to come back in Infinity Ward. Nobody. I know it's tough to have a bazillion attachments and not stick fire-breathing shotgun shells on your shotguns. I know, I know. It's tough coming up with content, man. It's tough coming up with new ideas. Uh, but, yeah, so I might go back to Modern Warfare, fellas, for some free-for-all fire shell shotgun round trolling. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys would want to see that. Uh, anyway, man, thank you guys all so much for sticking with me through this difficult time here, fellas. It is, uh, it has not been a good year in 2020, man. Not at all, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully we get some news on COD 2020 dropping quick. And if you enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to like it, share it, all that good stuff. Thank you guys all so much for the support, and I'll see you on the next one.